My name is Shalina Kennedy, and I'm playing Rose of Sharon in The Grapes of Wrath. She's a young girl of about 17, 18, who has married her childhood sweetheart, and uh, she's pregnant. She sees a lot of hope and potential in, um, in Connie's dreams of becoming a, a, a radio specialist, and she's got a lot of dreams of having a house and you know, raising the baby well. And yeah, she's very positive and hopeful at the beginning of the show and very happy with Connie. She's a bit of a time marker through the play because her pregnancy, you know, as she keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, you start to see where they are in the journey. And the intensity of them succeeding gets greater and greater as you see this baby about to be born. Ma Jode is the emotional pillar of strength for Rosa Sharon. I mean, I think that the reason that Rosa Sharon goes from, you know, me, me, me to a team player is because of her mom. I mean, the lessons that she teaches her you know, at the beginning of the play, you know, Rosa Sharon's caring for grandma and Ma sits her down and says, look, you know, she tries to teach her about life and death and how things are connected and sometimes it's hard for Ma to put it into the right words for everyone to understand, but, you know, there's something about that speech that resonates through the whole show for Rosa Sharon. And we have many of those moments. Like, there are moments where Ma is very tough on Rose and she says, you know, stop thinking about yourself. There's a, there's a whole bunch of us here who are going through the, you know, the same stuff you are, so you've got to start thinking about the rest of us. A lot of us lose a lot of things in the play, but uh, just for me personally as a character, I, I lose everything. Like I really lose just about everything that I have. Uh, you know, and that's, it's, it's hard to, to go through that honestly, right? Like you don't want to put yourself in a mental institution, but you want to you wanna tell the story as truthfully and honestly as you can for you know, whatever it is you're going through. You know, the tension keeps growing and growing and growing as it goes, so you don't want to release too much because it's not over at, at, you know, the first loss. Like, there's a long way to go, so you kind of got to keep building, every, like, each thing on top of the other so that the end has weight. You know, there's actually one story I'll tell is, oh, I was so sad about this. I, we were bowing, and I was looking into the audience, and there was this man sitting in the third row, and he had this gaunt look in his face, and... He was kind of staring at us, and he wasn't clapping. He was just like leaning forward over onto his knees and kind of staring at us for the entire curtain call. And you just saw how devastated he was at the end. But then there are other people who were like standing up and really like clapping and smiling. And then, you know, we get letters from people saying that it changed their lives. And so I think it's just, you know, it depends whatever you've been through. You'll take something different from the show.